Wilhelm Duer. In World War II, it wasn't until the Allied forces began liberating the concentration camps that the world was finally able to see and begin to understand the true horror and beastly nature of the Nazi regime. These concentration camps were operated in such a brutal manner thanks to Heinrich Himmler's SS and his guards, among whom was Wilhelm Dürer, another cruel Nazi monster. But how could such a young man, married with a child, become so evil? He was born on the 9th of February, 1921, and when he was 11 years old, he became a member of the Hitler Youth, an official youth organization of the Nazi party in Germany. This organization indoctrinated young people with Nazi racial ideology and managed to turn a generation of German kids, such as Wilhelm Dürer, into Nazis. Before the outbreak of war, he worked as a farmer on his father's farm. Then, his criminal career began. In 1940, he applied for service in the Wehrmacht, or German Armed Forces, but they rejected him. After being turned away, he joined Heinrich Himmler's SS and served as a guard in Sachsenhausen concentration camp and later in Mittelbaudora and Kleinbodungen concentration camps, which were subcamps of the notorious Buchenwald concentration camp. Here he found pleasure in abusing the power he had over innocent prisoners. On one such occasion, he found two prisoners hidden in a potato cellar. He ordered three other prisoners to savagely beat them until they were left for dead. However, he committed his worst crimes during the evacuation of the camp, which was ordered in April 1945. Dorr was one of the 45 SS guards who led a brutal death march to Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. He was accused of shooting at least 46 prisoners who had become too weak to walk any farther, as well as killing 13 prisoners because they had bad feet or were suffering from other diseases and could not march anymore. Four days after his arrival in Bergen-Belsen concentration camp, he was captured by the British Army, together with other Nazi monsters, such as Josef Kramer and Elizabeth Volkenrath. He was tried at the Bergen-Belsen trials and convicted of atrocities which occurred during the death march from Middle Baudora. He pleaded not guilty to the charges brought against him. However, it did not help him escape justice. A tribunal sentenced Wilhelm Dürer to death by hanging. He was only 24 years old when the British executioner, Albert Pierrepoint, carried out the sentence on the 13th of December, 1945. There were no tears shed for Wilhelm Dürer. Thanks for watching World History Channel. And don't miss our next videos. Click the subscribe button now for more interesting clips. Give us a like and see you in the following episode.